Who's that? that? Come on. Oh, got him. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Joe Waddell's YouTube channel. And as of filming today, I'm gonna pick the comment from my boy Dale on the last video. So make sure you guys leave a question or comment down below if you guys wanna be featured in the next video for the shout out. Today, the plan is simple. We're gonna go to a couple ponds listed on the mass.gov website for having trophy bass that we pay for stocking when we actually end up buying the freshwater license that we need to even be able to fish freshwater at all. We're gonna go check out where the trophy bass are and see how it goes. The first one we're actually gonna be walking to, it takes about half a mile from where we park, so I've never actually fished there. I think it did once a really long time ago on private property that you can't actually get to anymore. So the only way to get to it now is walking about half a mile. I mean, I could get to the other fishing spot on private property because the person's like never there, but let's try not to get arrested, right? That'd be bad. All right, we made it to spot number one. Looking pretty promising. So let's get everything uh, set up and see what we can get going. Bringing it all up, starting with some Senkos. Gotta go with the good stuff, you know? Let me try something new. I was gonna try a bunch of Guggen baits because I actually got this whole mystery tackle box to Guggen Crate. But uh, we'll start with Senkos and then we'll go try out some other stuff. I'm gonna try going over here, right? But there's a fucking, there's a snake right in here. Okay. And they didn't freak me out at all. There's a snake over there. Looks like somebody else has been here recently and left their trash. Working on the casting, getting it there. Sun's just starting to go down. How purdy it is. Am I getting knocked or is it all rocks? There's a casual plane over there in the guy's backyard. I don't know if you guys can see that from here, but. Okay. I'm wondering if over there would be better. It has more shade than over here. Maybe we try over there and that. So what's crazy is this whole bank right here used to be beach. So way down kind of where that plane is. It's right about, I don't know if we can point to it too well, but over there. We used to be able to go down there and it was very clear right off the side of the rail trail. At least when I was a kid and it looks like they don't even do anything about it now. What else is crazy is, so the only way to get to this stocked apparently with trophy bass pond is here, which you have to walk to obviously, and then down there, which has one little path that's not groomed or anything, so there's still trees and stuff all on the way. And you have to walk even farther to get to that one. And everything else is private property. Some brakes on too. So freaked out about that snake, not gonna lie. This house is a little farther out there. Let it sink. I don't know if something hit it or I hit a rock. Oh, I got snagged. Oh, come on. Oh, got it. Right in front of me too, actually. We'll try like one or two more and switch over to the sheet. And the reason why I'm over here, right? One, just because it's nice and there's a rock to fish from. So I can see higher. But two, you have all the hanging on the bank. And then the wind is obviously blowing this way, so that's actually lucky. Because last time I came here, it was actually blowing like really hard this way. Oh, snag something. A lot of rocks. I think they'd be hanging out by them. Or at least like over here by this pipe, you know? If you can see that or not, but. Oh, it's got a piece of seaweed on it. I'm like, what is that? Let's try over here. Nice little lake lettuce. So this isn't as good as an angle as I was hoping, but. See, not to mention, 
It rained a lot last night, but uh, made it a lot darker than I was thinking over here. So let's see how this side does. This side would probably be better with spinner bait if I had that on. Yeah, I don't like this side as much. What the hell is that? See that? Yeah, no, I don't like this side. Oh my God, you can't see it, but there's a ton of bugs right here. They're all over me already. Yeah, no, I'm out of here. F this side, man. Nope. That side's gross. Okay, so this pond, that's 90% private because it's literally all of this is private. Science. Right here is one of the trophy bass spots. Okay. Why? I don't know. There's so many others that have way easier access. But I guess because that guy's got a plane, they're going to stock it. All right. I've never even heard about anybody fishing on this pond. Like, can't even remember the name of it. Hinkley's. That's it, it's Hinkley's pond. In case you guys want to know, it's really good fishing. Way better than where I go that's not stocked and I don't pay for. He's like, nah, I'm out. He dipped in the water. Oh, look, there goes in the water. It's right here. Well, that's the first. It's the first time I've ever seen a snake just swimming away in person. All right, that's scary. It looks just like all the sticks. Okay. There's another one. Every time I turn off this GoPro, like literally every time I turn this one off, look, he's right there. I don't know if you can see the little head sticking up. He's peeking up. Yeah, I'm swimming away. It's like right about here. Come on, I had a bite. I was not expecting that. Oh, wait a second, I just cast it straight out. Okay, well, he didn't mess with the worms, so that's good. So we'll toss it right back out home. Let me turn this GoPro. Right, let's try that again. Snake, get away, bro. Snake's right there. Man, chill. I'm all freaked out. In the way, because last time it was literally as it went down. I feel like this would smash with some other kind of lure. Maybe we'll try something new in a minute. Surprised there was even a fish there. Oh. Come on. Come on. It's right about where it was. Let's see if I leave it for a second. Oh, oh, oh. Who's hitting it? Come on. Oh. Got him. Oh, he's a big one. 
Two throw it. Nope, got it. Let's go. Yeah, got a big one. At least it feels like it. I'm trying to drag it behind that. Can't believe he actually pulled the line on me. Ooh, he's fighting. No. Yes. Yes. Get him in here. Come on. Oof, they fight in here. Yeah. It's a little small mouth. He's a big boy. Barely hooked him. That's not bad. That's a big boy. It's a big boy right there. Okay. So maybe there's something to this. Not a bad fish. Oh, he took the whole worm. I wasn't paying attention. So if we get big fish in here, let's try the grande banger. I don't know if anything will bite it, but if it does, hopefully it's a big one. Let's try it. All right, I haven't fished one of these, and if I have, it's been a really long time. So let's try out the, what is it, the Mondo banger it's in? I can just feel the action on the thing. Oh my goodness. Definitely a Mondo. Jeez, that thing goes nuts. Oh, maybe it is a banger. It feels like you have a little fish on there with this thing. I'd be surprised if anything actually gulps this. I think the uh, braided might have been a bad idea. Why does something over there keeps getting caught on? Caught a snail. It's a good catch. Poor little, how the hell did this even get in there? Oh my God. Hey, little guy. Okay. So first catch with the uh, Mondo banger is a snail. Good piece of bait right there. Lore. Now I see why you don't turn it down to one. Thought something nibbled at it, but I was wrong. Apparently I need that snake back, he's my good luck charm. Yes, I'm looking out for the snake that much. Thing scared the shit out of me. Okay, that's all I'm trying for that Mondo. The only thing I got from the Mondo banger is the Mondo don't use it. Yep, okay. All right, so next one we're gonna try is this hound. A little walking bait, little top piece. Let's see, I don't really use one of these, so let's try it. Now we got it. Let's see how it does. A little top water action. I know plovers are really good when you're going for like striper. So, I don't know. It'll be good for bass too. If 
Might just go back to the Senko for a little bit. These Guggen lures just really aren't doing it today. I'm just not feeling it. Senko's really just been my good luck charm at this point. There's <sighs> a bird that just went for it. Well, that's a good sign. All right, I'm done with the plopper. Okay, now we're gonna try a little clickbait and then throw, probably, I don't know. I'm gonna throw something on the back. Probably a little saucy swimmer, Krog, stand by. Okay, so I got a little crazy. Clickbait with a little saucy swimmer. Baby's probably got some good action going. Now do we have faith? It, I do. Making some noise. Some of these dogs were real upset. I mean, I would fall for it. This one looks very legit. Maybe it's only for the big guys. You have those trophy bass that are in here. On this beautiful landscape while I'm out here fishing, all I can think about is It'd be really cool if you guys could like and sub if you haven't already. That'd be sick. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get up there. Not a bad view though. Not a bad view. So it's been about an hour since we last caught a fish and it's been all Guggen baits. So, spoiler alert, starting to really not like Guggen too much. Caught him on the Senko and for the video's sake, I decided I'd go through my Guggen crate and I've gone through what, five different types of lures and nothing. So far this year, every single time I've gone out fishing with a Guggen, I haven't caught a single fish, and the second I switch off one, I catch one. Maybe I'll make a video soon, but Guggen baits are not as good as they're hyped up to be. We'll see, I'm gonna give this a couple more tries. I'm gonna go back to Sanko and watch if I catch one. Spoiler alert, that's the next video that'll be coming out about fishing, or at least one of the next videos. Let's try it without the saucy swimmer. No saucy swimmer out here. The bugs are so annoying right now. Okay. We're going back to a worm. Man, I'm getting my skills back. All right, let's see if we catch one on this and if we do. You already know. Guggen Squad are gonna be getting the proverbial YouTube hands. 
I almost just hit that part, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that would have been awkward. Oh, fish are biting. Got one jumping out there. And over there. Oh, let's get that out, see if we can toss it over that way. Yep, there it goes again, twice. Wonder if the camera got it. A little to the left, but the distance we want. Actually, I'm right in the middle of both of them. I wish the fish were all over me as much as the gnats are. Yeah, that's making it in the video. Hater's gonna say, when the fish started biting, when you started throwing, or started eating, when you started throwing the Senko. It's not Guggen, it's just you and your shitty timing to go fishing. That may be true, but right now I'm 3 0 and Guggen lures to Senko, well, Senko's to Guggen lures, I guess. Yamamoto W. The Osprey looks hungry. What a beautiful world we live in. And to think, men, I'm outside fishing and you guys are probably inside watching me fishing. Got him. It's okay, I'm inside editing it. And then now, I'm probably also inside watching this, so who really wins? Oh, there's finally little minnows all around me. Bunch of little bait fish flying around like crazy. Where do they all come from? I think they're all just going nuts. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but it's a good sign. I'm trying to stick around the pipe on purpose because I'm really hoping that it's going to be a fish. Let's just chill in here. Let's go a little farther to the left. There's one over there. Give it a couple flicks of the wrist here. The tri flick, I call it. So in case you haven't noticed, still not using a spinning reel. I don't know if I'm ever going back. I ain't going back. Maybe if you guys hit like and sub right now, I'll catch a fish. Ready? Let's see. Ready? This is the cast. Should I do it fast or slow? All right, I'll do it. Good call, good call, guys, good call. Good news is, it looks like no matter what you use, Guggen or not, just not really catch a fish out here. And I probably stayed here longer than I stayed at the other pond that I normally fish. And I catch way more, so. Trophy Bass Pond. Really doesn't look too trophy bass-ish. As far as I'm concerned, first pond, debunked. I'll probably, you know, now I think about it, I'll probably just turn this into a series of different ponds and like each one of them on the mass one that we all pay for. Cause I've been out here for hours and I've caught one small mouth. <laughs> it's labeled as trophy large mouth. Your $30 fishing license is so worth. Dude, this is the biggest thing I caught all day. Look at that. And there's so many bait fish right here. Can you, I don't know if you can see them all along this pipe. There's so many. And casting along it is definitely my best bet. What? He just went for it. That part said, I don't even care. I don't think he had anything though. Yeah, it doesn't look like he caught it. One last final cast. Should I go that way? That way? Or that way? Put it in the comments down below. One, two, or three. Good call, two it is.
All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this one where we go around and check out all of these trophy bass ponds as listed by the mass.gov website. I mean, it wasn't a bad day. We got one pretty big small mouth, but this is supposed to be for large mouth and not one. I mean, yeah, they were eating. We were here for hours, tried all different things. Nothing really worked out, but I'll probably come back another day to give it a shot. You know, not count it out too much yet because it's just been a bad day. Who knows, I'll just keep trying, but for today, it's all that happened. Didn't really have much luck, so. My rating so far is not good. All right, so that's gonna be a wrap on the day for everything. Make sure you guys like and comment down below anything you have to say or any questions you have to have a shout out in the next video. And yeah, with that, see you guys in the next one.